Repent. This is the end time warning. Repent. Why are you still rising and falling? Why are you giving excuses and slowing down from the race? Why are you wearied and tired and taking thought to stop and to bow out from the race? This is the race of your life. This is the race to eternal life. This is the race God has set before us. Your life and death is determined in the race that is set before you. Therefore, having set the race before you, God said, choose life. Choose to run to escape from Satan and sin and from the everlasting punishment in hell fire, the eternal destination of every sinner. This is the race you must run with every strength of your life. This is the race you must run without looking back, knowing that looking back is to die. This is the race you must run despite seeing every threatening that is meant to turn you away from God. This is the race you must run, despising every pressure and persecution that are meant to turn you away from God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego ran the race. They answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve will deliver us out of the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Jesus said concerning the race, No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 35, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Is it not unto you that the fearful Christians will not inherit the kingdom of God? Is it not unto you that the unbelieving Christians will not inherit the kingdom of God? They will have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone. Who are the fearful? Who are the unbelieving? The fearful are the Christians who are rising and falling in faith because of fear. The fearful are the Christians who are stumbling and falling in the race because of fear. They are afraid of the men who disapprove their conversion and submission to Christ. They are afraid of the threats to lose their jobs if they will not withdraw from Christ who is calling them to salvation. They are afraid that they might not get a better job and might suffer hunger if they don't withdraw from Christ, who is waiting at the finishing line of the race. In the fear of the threat, they slowed down from the race and turned away from Christ. They feared the man who gave them the job more than Christ, who has the power to save and to cast into hell. The fearful are the Christians who have not entirely surrendered their lives to Christ because of the fear to lose the relationship with the world. A man said to a Christian, I'm a frost star. It is a choice. I've chosen the way I should go. If our plans to get married should go on, you will have to choose between me and Christ. And the Christian slowed down from the race and turned away from Christ. The fearful are the Christians who sleep with false prophets and church leaders who are not in the race. They are afraid to cry out to God for his salvation. Neither will confess their sins for their deliverance because of the fear of the men who were threatening them with death. The fearful are the Christians 
who have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. But when the wind of the fire of persecution blows across the believers, their personal safety and status mean more to them than faithfulness to Christ. Who are the unbelieving? They are Christians, but because of their unbelief and disobedience, they were overcome by sin. They profess Christ as Lord and Savior, but practices abominable sins. They proclaim and argue that a person can be a Christian and simultaneously be a liar, a fornicator, an adulterer, and an idolater. They contradict God's word in the church and everywhere they go. The question is, do you lie? Do you commit fornication? Do you commit adultery? Do you sleep with your pastor or with a church leader? Do you touch anything that is called sin and still professing Christ as Lord and Savior? You are deceiving your own soul. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, He that committed sin is of the devil. The part and portion of every sinner is in the lake that is burning with fire and brimstone. Do you compromise the faith for fear of men? And you could not burn at the stake for Christ. Then you will burn in hell for sin. Do you make allowance for the flesh to defy you in masturbation and to do every work of the flesh? Do you fear the pain of the cross? and will not go up to the cross to crucify the flesh, then you will bear the far greater agonies of eternal death, the misery of eternal hellfire. The everlasting punishment will be your part and portion in hell if you will not crucify the flesh and die to the world. Repent and return to the race that is set before you. The race is a race for your soul. Now is mercy. Now is the grace to repent. Now is the second chance many are crying for in hell. Repent. Death happens every day. Death happens every hour, it happens every minute and every second. It will come like a thief in the night. Repent, tomorrow may never come. Turn away from the church. The pastors and leaders are living in sin and justifying their sin. Look for a living church where the angel of the church will keep pointing you to the cross to Christ and his sudden appearing. We are praying for you. We are praying that God will grant you the grace to repent because it is end time. As you take a bold step today to surrender your life to Jesus, remain abiding and rapture ready till the end. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook so that many will receive the word of eternal life and be saved. Please do support this ministry. God bless you.